All right, here's a little problem that appeared on an MCAT test a while back. I'm not sure why anybody would care about this, but nevertheless, the problem was if you have some object that's moving in uniform circular motion like this, meaning that it has a constant speed in the circle, the velocity, however, is not constant, and it starts out at A and ends up at B, the question is, what is the average acceleration? Not the centripetal acceleration, but the average acceleration. Well, the way to work this is to define the average acceleration as just delta V over delta T. Okay, and let's say this is the initial velocity right here and this is the final velocity right here. So delta V then, delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. And let's see, V initial is just equal to V, the speed, and it's in the plus Y hat direction where this is the unit vector in the Y direction and this is a unit vector in the x direction. So this is just v in the plus y direction. v final, on the other hand, is equal to v in the minus y hat direction. So delta v then is equal to v final, which is v in the minus y hat direction, minus v in the plus y hat direction. And that can also be written as v with a minus sign in front of it times y hat plus y hat and that's just equal to minus 2v in the y hat direction. That's what delta v is. Alright, how about delta t? What is delta t? Delta T is just equal to the distance, which is half of the, of the circle, uh, divided by the speed. Half of the circle is pi times r divided by the speed v. So we can write that the average acceleration, acceleration av, is just equal to delta V over delta T. So that's equal to this, which is minus 2V y hat divided by delta T, which is pi times R divided by V, and that puts a square up here. So this is equal to 2V squared over pi times R in the minus y direction. The particular problem that they gave had, I believe, the radius, which is this, the radius was equal to 5 meters, and the speed, v, was equal to 1 meter per second. So that would mean that the magnitude of the average acceleration is just equal to 2 times the speed squared divided by pi times r, which is 5 meters. So that's equal to 0 0.4 over pi. And that was the answer on the test. And just one more thing to notice about this problem, just so you can get a little bit better idea of what it's about. Notice that the velocity starts out in this direction and ends up in this direction. So the whole time the velocity is changing, it's changing in such a way that it ends up in this direction when it started out in that direction. So that right there would tell you intuitively that the acceleration should be in the minus y direction, which is what the mathematics actually shows you here. In addition to that, if you think about what's this 2v business here? Well, first of all, 
if it starts out like this with the length v, it has to go back this way to get back to zero. That's one v, and then it has to go from here all the way down to here to get to this v, so that's another v. That's the reason for the two here. And this direction of the average acceleration is in the minus y direction. So anyway, that's just a little further explanation of this problem.